right. Let's see if anyone has showed up. <laughs> Gonna give myself a thumbs up. <laughs> and we shall see. There we go. Now I see myself. <laughs> see myself. Let's see, let's see if anyone shows up. I'd be waiting. Oh, somebody is watching. Let's see. Hello. <laughs> Talk to me. I'm all by myself. Anyone there? Oh, there's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lori. So glad you're here. How's, how are you today? Looks like the weather is finally starting to turn for a lot of people. Hey, Angie. Hey, Candy. It's, uh, let's see, what is it here? It's in the 30s here. It's above freezing, so that's pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. This is one of the little things I got at the, uh, hi, Tina. How are you? This is one of the things I got at the thrift store. It's not name brand or anything, but I thought it was really cute. It's felted wool. It's got these thick, like, they, they remind me of dreadlocks. <laughs> these handles. If I grab that. Really cute. The back is just plain. Everybody's still saying hello to everybody. Let me just message some people here. Let's see. They're so busy yakking they forgot to come. Let's see. There we go. Oh, there's Amy. I'm going to be cutting iced tea cans to use in a bit in my big shot. So I'll be watching. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's Lisa that said that. What are you going to make with those, Lisa? You're going to emboss them? Okay. All right, Tina. You you lay down and lurk. I got you. And hey, Amy. I'm just reading chat. Curious what Lisa's going to do with her, her iced tea cans. But she might be... Uh, she might be not typing anymore. Well, hello, Miss Susan. Emboss them and die cut some too. So cool, Lisa. Susan is working and lurking. Hope you have your earbuds in. But there's more than one Susan on this planet, right? Using to make a journal. Well, that'll be interesting. I will tune in for that. For sure. Heck yeah. See if Brenda shows up, she can link your channel. She's my mod. Brenda, you here? <laughs> I need you. If anyone wants their channel link, just let Brenda know when she comes in and she'll link you. She'll do that. So how's work today, Susan? You're not cracking the whip too hard I hope so this is one of the things I got at the thrift store it's called alphabet numbers puzzle pairs so I haven't opened any of this yet or looked at any of it but I figured it's pretty good because it's got the best toy award from the Oppen Oppenheim toy portfolio. Ooh. Oh, Susan, that stinks. I know, I know a couple people that are in that boat. Any timeline on when you might get some water? They have water at work? 
they have to have water at your work, don't they, in order to paint stuff? Gosh, that's just awful. Oh, these are cute. This is a nice, nice chipboard box. Hi, Susie. No, I stink. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you do it. These are cute. They have little polka dot backs. <laughs> Let's see what they have. A whole bunch in here. Keys. Candy, you don't have water either. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you can't go to work because you can't shower. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they appreciate that. Hey, Laura. I agree, Candy. That sucks. They have all the little numbers. I like the word ones, those are cute. Cute, cute. Oh, there's a pig. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, yarn and a kitty. That one's cute. So these are awfully big. Gosh. That's one of my head hairs. Very long. I didn't miss anybody, did I? I don't think I did. There's the sun, something we all need to see more of. Oh, there's a giraffe, elephant. These are also cute, cupcake. Oh, look at the jack in the box, he's cute. I'm sorry, my cam I have my camera over on the side and it's like a, it's like an arm that comes over and I know that the angle is weird, but I don't really have any way to correct it unless I take everything that's in front of me out and then put the arm over there and then have it come this way. But man, that would be so much work. And I'm afraid once I took every one thing out, everything would just go. Bleh. So, oh, that's awesome, Susan. Hey, Deanie. Hot Threads is Deanie in case anyone's. Thanks, Amy, in case anyone's wondering. I just took a leap of faith. You know, the box was taped shut, but I figured since it got that award, it had to be pretty decent, right? Balloons. So anyway, I'm thinking what I might do is cut. I don't know. Would anyone want like that big of a... Should I even poke holes in the corner? I don't know. I'll have to think on that. You guys let me know your opinion of what I can do with those. I have too many to keep, so I'll have some in my sale. Yes, very nice. I'm so glad you have some water. Oof. Gosh, it almost makes you want to have short hair when stuff like that happens. Isn't it easier to wash? And then I bought this scarf. I take these apart and then I um, roll them into, because these are super easy to take apart. And then I roll them into um, balls and then I put them in the fiber, fiber kits, fiber whatevers. And... I got myself a couple t-shirts. That's just boring. I don't need to see those. I got this. I got this more for the, the tin. I think it's going to be something really cute underneath. This is material to build Santa. And then it has the directions and everything. I'm your kitchen bunny. Pretty as can be. Untie my pretty ribbons and make good use of me. That's what I wanted to ask you guys. Like, what do you think? Like, brainstorm. Um, you can make dangles out of them. You can make pockets out of them. Um, you can cut them up. Oh, there's a couple. 
schools looks like they were glued together in the middle that'd be cute to put a sneaker oh there's the little santa hey, hey, he's cute he's cute there's some circles Got some doilies some tissue paper cute but what i'm excited about is the image on the front i want to very carefully if this starts to peel the image off, I'm going to be sad. I have no nails, you guys. <laughs> Did it? I don't even remember what I said. Bear with me. I don't want to ruin the tin. Oh, yeah, it's not pulling up the image. It should be all right. Fun with the Christmas bunny. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me read it again. Let's see. Let's think of it like Laura said. Okay. I'm your kitchen bunny. <laughs> yep. Pretty as can be. Untie my pretty ribbons and make good use of me. Mm -hmm. Yep. I can see that. I was thinking that, warm it up with my heat gun. It did leave a residue. If I heat it up with my heat gun, will the residue not? Uh, will it pick it up better? Where's my heat gun? No, 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 no. It's over there. Hold on one second. I have to reach. Okay, let me plug it in. I will do that. I will do that. Tess used it last. She's got it all wrapped with a rubber band to keep the cord from unwinding around the heat gun. It's too funny. Tess is my twin almost. Let's see. Is she going to be? Yeah, she's going to be 22, April 3rd. <laughs> oh, she's something else. Okay. So what should I unplug? What's this? What's this go to? This goes to the hot glue gun. You could definitely unplug that. Okay. So unplug the un, unplug, unplug the hot glue gun. Plug in the heat gun. There we go. Alrighty. Or stick it in the freezer. Oh, hey, Kristen. Getting any sleep yet? Okay. Hopefully, this camera, I'm pretty sure it does, because I have the same camera as Colleen, and hers mutes the sound. Where's Carla? Hey! Ugh, I just read a comment. Where's Carla? Okay. Oh, oh, it's happening. It. It's just coming away from the paper. Poop. Poop. Come on. If I can just get an edge going. There we go. Let's see. Oh, this one isn't leaving any sticky. Maybe that's because I hit it with the heat gun. Let's do it again. Less. Less, definitely less. Try the freezer. I'm not that patient, Carla. I want to see what's under here now. <laughs> I don't want to wait. Okay. Right. One more. Oh, what a cute picture. <laughs> One little piece didn't come off. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that worked great. Thank you, Lisa. Just that one piece that I didn't, I didn't heat it up with. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. 
I knew something cute was going to be under there. I knew it. <laughs> Look at the sides are um, plaid. It says Frick, Frick and Mac. Braunschweig. Fine soul something Kungen. So I bet it had like cookies in it or something. I love it. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I'm pretty happy with that. This will probably add a, be at a future sale with some sewing goodies in it. I have lots of vintage sewing stuff that I've collected. I grabbed this for my friend. She collects very scared looking kittens. <laughs> you think so, Lori? <laughs> oh, hey, Tina. So anyway, she collects girly candles. This is not a super old one. It's got a UPC on it, but it's still pretty cool. Haunted house with the with the ghost. It's in great condition. It's still in the wrapper. She will be very happy with that. Okay, Lisa. And let's see what's this. Oh, I really like these. These are fun. These I Spy cards. Alt. Those are kittens. Did I say puppies? What did I say? When I'm alive, I can't be held responsible for what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Ugh. So these I Spy cards are awesome. I really, really like these. They're colorful and they usually have little vintage items on them, which I think is neat. I think these are great. Like, look at that. That's so cool. With the, oh, I'm sorry. I probably just blinded you and you couldn't see any of those, could you? Ooh. Either blinding you or out of frame. Get with the program. Where's Renee? Hey, Renee. Yes, thrift store shopping is so fun. But you know, these ladies, they live in they live in the town that I'm in and um oops, they're sisters. <laughs> and uh they come from a really big family, so they're all kind of close in age. And I think that within the last so many years, a bunch of them have retired. So they kind of took over the reorganization of the thrift store. And now it's not so much digging and finding treasure. Everything is like really neat and orderly. So it's not as much fun as it used to be. And I think that they might be throwing away things that I would normally think are fantastic. So I don't know. I'm kind of iffy. Kind of iffy about them being around. Another thing I found was this crib sheet because it's polka dot, hot pink polka dot. I've been doing the, uh, the polka dot snippet rolls, so I will be cutting this up and making a few with this included in it. And I found this box of cards. I don't think the cards themselves are actually vintage. I didn't really, I just looked at what was just kind of glanced. Hey, cat. And, uh. This is a much nicer blue than what it's showing. It's more like a kind of like a turquoise. But anyway, let's see what's in here. Like I could tell right away that that is not a vintage card. Oh yeah, the um we don't have gift goodwills around here. We just have like um personally owned and run thrift stores. See that's cute, but where is that glare coming from? That's gotta. I gotta move this. It's a swing arm lamp. I'll just move it a little bit because it's really obnoxious. Is that better? No. Hold on. Come on. Where is that? Is the glare coming from over here? Hmm. Well, hmm. 
I did have this back a lot further and I just recently moved it up and I probably shouldn't have. Oh, these look like they're all going to be bears. They're cute. <laughs> bears have tea. Oh, I think we're going to get to some vintage ones. Two of those. This one looks vintage. Oh, yes, it is. It's one of those four folds, like the vellum. Hear the, that's sweet. Sweet baby. This is sick. No, that's not the date. Made in USA. Aaron, see above. Would you write your name? My sister complained about not having thrift shops up here. Hey, Lisa. Sorry I missed you coming in. Prices are too high. I don't even bother going. Go to my St. Yes, St. Vincent de Paul. Yes, and that is a great charity. Has cat all over it. Yes, it does. You're so right. Her little baby journals. That would be so cute. Here's another bear one. Oh, it sings. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> the bear. Oh, here's another bit older one. So sorry you're sick. This one's pink. Cute. <laughs> Cat, you wrote that yourself. I didn't even realize you wrote that. That's so funny. Getting better? Good. Get well soon and hurry back. Cute. <laughs> hey, Sandra. Here's another BB. Oh, this green one's cool. Oh, it has glitter on your anniversary. And it's pink and green, my favorite color combo. This one's pretty too. This one has glitter on it. Well, I'm so glad I picked up this box of cards. These are fabulous. And the box is adorable too. Excellent. Okay, where's the lid? How do I do that? I'm, I'm, I haven't moved. I'm in like a one foot, one square foot space here and I can't, I misplace stuff. So these are by Parchment Contemporaries, an all-occasion assortment. Oh, they're from the Coronation Collection. Very nice. Shh. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. And I saw this, and I, I, I got very excited. <laughs> I hit it, though. I was just only excited inside. But I thought, oh, vintage stationery ah, and strawberries to boot and polka dots. Oh, all my favorite things. Yes, I agree, Sandra. Do not donate to Goodwill. If you, if you only have Goodwill or Salvation Army, please choose Salvation Army. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, it's gingham and rickrack. Whoa. There's not very much of that, though. Pixies. Well, there's two pads of that. They're all the same. That's so cute. 36 decorated sheets by Pratt and Austin, Holyoke, Massachusetts. Made in the USA. Two pads of that. Oh, and here's the stationery that actually goes with the box. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's one of those trifold deals. Let's see. Oh, no, it's just paper, but it's long. Let's see. Are they all the same? Oh, they're different. There she is with the cat. And she is with the dog. That's probably all they're going to be, cat or dog. Oh, these are cute. Whoops. I think it's a rip they expected me. <laughs> yes. They need to like reprint this stuff. 
Let's see, I'll, I'll hold the cat up. I know you didn't get to see the cat very closely. Just the doggie. There's the cat. cat. They're eating strawberries. He's rubbing on her own doggie. So there's that. I'm happy with that. Some rick rack, some brown rick rack. Needs no ironing, 100% cotton. 1969. It's a year older than me. <laughs> I thought these were cute. I think these sit in plants. They're that terracotta. Oh, what do you do with these guys? Nothing. Just sit them on a shelf. There's an owl. Oh, all right. That's good. That's good, Carla. A frog. They have a little hole in the bottom, of course, so they don't explode when they're fired. A squirrel with an acorn. A bunny. Uh oh, and my favorite, the hedgehog. So do these sit in plants? Like, do they absorb water, or, or what? Like, are, does anyone know? Are these for a specific purpose? Aren't those the ones you keep your? Oh, you put them in to keep your brown sugar soft. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And then this was just laying on the shelf, so I snagged it. It's for knitting. It's to keep your stitches in your place. But I will not be using it for that. I found some vintage from Ames. They were 23 cents. Some ornament hangers. You can just see where it says Ames there. There's the back, very plain. Cellophane is, is busted through. Oh, they were on sale. They were marked 29 cents, but Ames discount department store only charged 23. There's those. Dollar Tree has air dry modeling. Oh yeah, I was wondering that too. I was wondering that. Oh, JD gets it all the time. She really likes it. Where's JD? She's sleeping. She did a lot of shoveling yesterday. She probably pooped. And then these are uh, mostly books that I have. I grabbed these Harry Potter, Fantastic Beats, Beasts, and Quidditch. I grabbed this for when my niece comes over. Give her something to color. It's a dog. I got some maps. Some are older than others. They're, they're all quite large. Really, this one's from the Getty Oil Company. Uh, let's see. That's just a tourist map. Yes, Susie, I actually have a little, a little um, terracotta pot that's specifically for that. Yep. New England. I guess this is the only. Is this is a Penny Shacket. Okay, well, I won't give out your phone number, Penny Shacket. It's from 1970. There's a credit card that has a 1970 date on it. So that's as old as me. Yes, I love maps. And then the egg book. This was free because it's missing its back cover, so I will not feel. I won't feel guilty when I tear this up and do stuff with it. This belonged to Joey Garrett. I love the images in this. I have the big one. <laughs> that he's supposed to be yawning. He looks like he's crying. And then I got the Donald Duck board book. This is from 1976. 
That was for Brian and Gregory Levine. Mm, that's true, Carla. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, Brenda. This I'm probably not going to be able to turn the pages. So let me just open it. It's Christmas. It has some very pretty scenes in it. I don't think they celebrate Christmas in China, but, you know. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> um, I got the skis, keys to seascapes. These always have the very nice paintings and illustrations in them. I know we like those. Yes, that's really coarse. Exactly. Yep. And I grabbed this Walt Disney Animal Board book. Look at Pooh. He's so orange. <laughs> I love Thumper. Wow, that was a dollar? Where is this from? A dollar? That seems like a lot. 1976. Wow. Doesn't that seem like a lot? Oh. Oh, copyright 1969. And with this. Oh, this is one of those um pulp. Can I just one? On zoom, let me see. I seem like I feel like I'm really close, like zoomed in. Let me just have to find my camera. They do have Catholic churches and Orthodox churches in China. Hmm. I'm really surprised about that. They look like Fruit Loops, really. Okay, let me see here. Just have to wait for it to open. Come on. Open up. Are you not going to? You did before. Come on. Why aren't you opening? Oh, boy. Probably open in 10 minutes. Well, if it opens, I'll use it. It's not opening right now. No, oh, very good idea, Carla. Very good idea. Oh, we didn't look through this. Golden Picture Classic. Yeah, it's on the pulp paper. Nice colors. It's in great shape. Let's see what year is this? Mm -hmm. 1956. Mm. Yep, 1956. So that's kind of cool. This is drawing trees. Be careful, I don't hit the camera. Elizabeth Michaels, 1956. It's a good size book. Nice thick paper, too. It's a cool book. All kinds of pictures, of, all kinds of drawings of trees, like every page. Cool. Lava. Lava, lava. What's this? Amazing. I didn't even look through half of these. I just grabbed them. The amazing question and answer book. This was six dollars in the United States and seven dollars in Canada. Wow. Printed in Canada. MCML XXXIV. So that's what? 60 no 50 84. 1984. Wow. That's expensive. Six dollars? Hey dad. Oh. I caught myself. Hello, crafting room. <laughs> I caught myself. I caught myself. So it's kind of cool. It's like 
bathroom reading right there. And then, of course, you know, I had to pick up Richard Scarry. Love me some Richard Scarry. This is from 1992. God, I love Richard Scarry. <laughs> oh, it's got the alphabet. Love it. Best little word book ever. Love that. You're going to found an old, old looking anyway. Horton Hears a Who. Yes, love Richard Scarry. Isn't he the best? You can pick out his illustrations anywhere. Horton Hears a Who. You know what? Maybe I could pick this up a little bit. Hold on one second. No, that won't work. I know I can make this higher somehow. I guess it's as high as it goes. Okay. Hey, Chris. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. Book club edition. Horton, here's a who. 1954. So, yeah. It's an older one. His illustrations are great, too. But he, he illustrated his own books, right? Dr. Seuss? I think he did. What is a Who by Dr. Seuss? It doesn't say, so... I mean, is that a stupid question? Does everybody know that except for me? <laughs> he illustrated his uh, his own books. Uh, oh, this one's kind of. Hmm. I liked the foil sticker on the corner, <laughs> and it's older. Story of the Statue of Liberty, 1966. There's that one. What's this? Oh, Christmas carols. I don't normally, I don't pick up music anymore unless it's, I'm very picky, I guess I should say. But I think, I must have liked the cover. Because the music inside is, it's okay. It's nothing great. Must be, I like the cover. He wrote them and illustrated them. Okay, thank you. And there's clowns and characters. How to draw them. Two guys. It's a dollar. I know I'm not going to be able to open. So it doesn't just have clowns, it has, you know, like characters in it. And this is Leon Franks on the techniques. So this has some beautiful illustrations in it. Also, close your eyes, Brenda. Brenda's obsessed with bird books and the world's birds. Birds Around Us, a Whitman Learn About book. Dr. Seuss question books originally published with and were written in a story by Theodore Geisel. Theodore Geisel is, isn't he Dr. Seuss? Isn't, is that the same person? I mean, his name obviously is. Okay, this is from 1961. Yeah, it would be Rufus Hummingbird. There's a nickel. That's how big that bird is. <laughs> the biggest and the smallest as of the publishing of this book. There's Laura's Cardinals. There's Roy's Morning Doves.
the ostrich, yeah. Everglades kite. Water turkey? I have never heard of a water turkey. When the white man came in. <laughs> so that's a beautiful book. Perty Perty. Okay. You've all seen that a million times. We were tired of living in a house. Oh, I picked this up because I thought it was a cute picture or a cute story. They move out of their house and they live in like a tree and it tells all the different places they lived. And it's pictures. It's pretty cute. Tree, a cave. Yeah, that's a cute book. I just like the story. And, you know, it's a reader. I Brenda's addicted to birds. I'm addicted to readers. I love vintage readers. Let's see. 1960. And it's got all different kinds of illustrations. They're not like all done by the same person. They're all cute. Fog by Carl Sandburg. Fog comes on little cat feet. Oh, I remember studying this in college. It sits looking over harbor and sky on silent haunches and then moves on. The Nautilus, too. That was another. I don't know who wrote that, though. About the shell. You're addicted to hankies. Yes. Water turkeys sun themselves along the riverbank, spreading their wings. Once dry, they dive back in after. A fish. Wow. A uh, hag's hollow is Amy. Sandra in the voice of Siri. Oh, 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 I see. Gotcha, Sandra. <laughs> Golden Book Encyclopedia of Natural Science. This one also had birds, and I like the end paper, so I grabbed it. And I like the paper in these. There, it's matte, not shiny. So I snag that sucker. Figure birds and flowers and bugs. Can't go wrong with that. Poetry. <laughs> Laura, that was the that was like one of the shortest poems, except for the one about the the uh, watering can. I think that might be the shortest one. I think it's like three words or something. This one is standard treasury of learning, Funk and Wagnall's dictionary for young people. And this also has the. But then I really like the red, how the words are in red. We should do that in all dictionaries. Look how easy that is to find a word. Why don't they do that? It's probably too expensive. The young men in the fiery furnace. I don't want to know. I love the smell. Oh, it smells just like a library. I love it. This is a this is a very inspirational story. I read the whole thing. Um, it's about these caterpillars who think that they need to climb to the top of the caterpillar pile. But once they get there, they realize they were happier at the bottom. It's, it's a little more in-depth and complex than that, but that's pretty much what it's about. And here's another one. This one had butterflies, so I grabbed this one. Boop. Look at all the beautiful birds. Look at those illustrations. It's pretty. I have it that it was. Oh, hey, Julie. How are you? Do better to remember it. What did Chris forget? Oh, remember her. There are four volumes of those. Okay, so I have, I'm missing two, which is fine. I don't need to collect them all. Oh, there's the cardinal again. Bobolink. That's got a fun name. Look at that on the thistles. I love thistles. Hey there, pretty. 
and B, they have to do with, they're, they're on the Scottish flag. I'm fascinated with Scotland. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it's got the, oh, I wonder what the, what were the pictures in the other one? Let me grab it. What is it? What are the pictures in the front of this one? Did I even look at the pictures? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, it's all about... Sorry, it's like about the Bible and stuff. Stories from the Bible. Yeah, stories from the Bible. Okay. I'm not into that so much, but... Oh. And then I grab this. He just looks so happy. Look at him jumping up there. <laughs> Rabbit Hill. Good. Premiere just got over watching a video after and yours popped up. Cool. Thanks for coming. I hope your premiere went well. I know those are nice because you get to just chat with people. You don't have to worry about what you're... 1944. Anyone read this book? Oh, Dar's here. Hey, Artie Dar. This has some cute pictures in it, but I will read it. I will read this book. Probably won't take me but an hour, but I'm sure it's cute. So that is all I have for my thrift haul. But I did want... Oh, I have one more thing. I was really excited to find this. Because I've been wanting one. But they're expensive in the stores. I think I paid like a dollar for this. It's one of those things that you hang up and you can put your shoes or your purses in it. But I've been trying to organize my fabric lately. So, and this is a really long one. It was it's like six feet. So long. It's oh, I'm so excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up my fabric and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna put it on the back of my door. Or Tess's door. <laughs> I don't know. Because I already have a shoe thingy on my door. But uh, I'm so excited. So excited. Yep. Paper powered diva queen of die. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Julie. Yes. And it's not piled somewhere. You know, I mean, yeah, you can see it. And it's accessible and it's not like on a shelf. It's not taking up shelf space. I am so, I'm so excited. When I get all my fabric in there, I'll, I'll show you guys. Yeah, I'm very excited. I have my punches in my shoe one. And I don't have a ton of punches, so that works out well for me. But yes, I'm very excited about this. It's the little things. Yes, some shenanigans, right? What are you going to put in your shoe one? Shoes? <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to put shoes in it, Julie. My goodness. Can't ever use anything for what its intended purpose is, you know. We were there for five or six days. North Sea. Wow. Ooh. Nice, Chris. One door left. She only has one door left. All right, so I want to move these so I don't break them. I don't want to do that. I'm the most conscientious person sometimes. Okay. Oh, lace, yeah. Yeah, fat. Oh, I'm telling you. Get the purse or the shoe one. Oops, I missed a... Puzzle piece. I have to remember to put that back in there later. Try it out. But I will definitely let you guys know how it goes. So I saw too cold and wet. Mm -hmm. Dar wants to travel again. I have kid snacks in my over the door. Yes, you do. You have punches in one though, don't you, Brenda? And hello, Brenda. Trade you a book four of 1965, the new basic readers for your book. 
book. You're so funny, Brenda. You went to an okay. So what I was thinking of doing was trying this. Um, and I've, I haven't made one yet, so this will be like, if I make mistakes, it's going to all be right in front of you guys. Um, these, uh, I don't want, I don't want cardstock. I want, like, thinner. I guess that's okay. Uh, I want thinner, I want regular paper. I don't want cardstock for this. Yeah, that that lady we watched that made those um those triple flip out pocket things. What the heck? I don't know her name because her name isn't like on her channel, so I can't tell you her actual name. I think it's like craft with me. I don't do that. I work in repair. <laughs> okay. Well, I know when you go to a flea market, people actually have signs out that say, uh, I don't haggle. The price list is the price. Geez, you're really fun. So she took, let's see, how big do I want to make this? So what she did was she, she took like, she said it was the size of a tag, but it was big. And then she had one flip this way, this way, and then that way. And she put pockets. That might not make any sense. But uh, let's see. I'm going to trim this down. Grab my trimmer. Hmm. Hey, Angie. I have the white rabbit fur sponge. A little wider than that. She did hers like three inches. So, let's see, we have what? Four. Down to the one. Be about three ish. Boy, that's big. That's okay. Hope you guys can see my icon did not come up yet. Hey, Curly, I'm sorry I missed you. I didn't see you there. Apologize for that. I did one Friday using three envelopes, and when it was finished, it was like the folding thing that money can disappear on. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. There's Rosie. I missed Rosie too. And Elisa. Missed Rosie and Elisa. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Elisa. And I do want to make this probably a little shorter so I don't need it that tall. So let's see. Take a couple. Let's see. Probably make it about about that but right there that length right there okay now make the flips so i'm gonna do one two three i want this a little bit shorter so i'm gonna trim some off of this one i would love to go to another country and do one of those. My mother did Ireland. She absolutely loved it. She said she wants to go back, but she can't now. This one must go to town and get it over with. Oh, I know, Julie. You just gotta, just gotta say, just gotta do it. I know. No fun. So what you want to do when you make these is when you make your pocket. So you want to fold it in half right here. So I'm just going to make a little pencil mark. 
a little pencil mark. And I know I have to fold it right there. But I also want to make sure because what I want to do is so I'm going to have this one flip this way. So what I want to do is I want to leave Those stamp sets at Dollar Tree. Hmm. Dollar Tree has some stamp sets that you want. So you want to leave a little bit of a, because you're going to fold that over and you're going to glue it and that's what's going to make your flip. So you're going to leave and then leave and then cut that. rip my paper it's okay though I don't mind oh one with birds one with butterflies they do Sandra they do have some nice stuff I agree I went to mine not too long ago they didn't have they didn't have a lot but they did have some things I was pretty happy what did I get? I don't even remember. I got a rotary cutter. Some of those uh, those glass bottles with the corks. Wanted to get one of those um those score tools with the round, but they uh, a couple Easter things for your DIY channel. Nice. Hey, Deidre. So what I'm going to do is I am going to first I want to take my little finger finger tab out in the middle and glue that all glue it all close. I'm good, Deidre. How are you? How are the kids? How's everything in Deidre world? Glue that. Uh -huh. And take my base. Oh, I put the, oh, well, I'll just do it. Ah, crud. I put my finger thing on the wrong side. Darn it. Darn. Hmm. Well, actually, I'm just going to, we'll just do this. <laughs> I'll fold it around that way. Because I'm going to cover the back with another piece of paper anyway, so you're not going to see the white. So it'll be okay. All right, now, let's glue that down. And I have to decide what paper I want to use next. And how's this look? It's kind of boring. Doing great. Me and my youngest daughter, Tristan, went to the Children's Museum with her class today. She had a lot of fun and didn't want to leave. <laughs> Turn it inside out and stamp on it. I get you. <laughs> cut it off. No, I don't want to cut it off. It's my tab. Rosie, I am making a... Um, a tag of course it's huge but um and it's gonna have a flip that goes this way a flip that goes that way and a flip that goes that way um brenda if you could link that lady if you're still here that we got this idea from i would super de duper appreciate it let's see I think the blue floral that doesn't look too bad right you can do that I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. So now I want to go up 
there with that one. I'm glad that she had fun, Deidre. That is so cute that she didn't want to leave. <laughs> oh, kids are fun. You know, you took her to the right place. She didn't want to leave. There with me scraps. All right. Oh, she cried all the way out the door. <laughs> oh, did you laugh? I would have been kind of tickled by that. <laughs> Horrible. Okay, so I want. All right. I'm going to fold this here. Thanks, Rosie. This was a gift from a friend. She doesn't want to be identified. All right. And let's... All right. I'll try not to. My trunk hatch is on air pump thingies, too. <laughs> oh... Had McDonald's for lunch. That's very nice. I'm sure she was very happy with that. Nice day out. Just her and mom. Nice treat. Those dates with mom are so nice. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to make sure I'm doing it the right way this time. Always double check. Don't be like me. You just wing it. All right, so this one's going to flip this way. So the little finger tab will be right here. Make sure I do it the right way this time. And I, li I actually like this paper for this project a little bit better than this paper because it's two-sided. And when you cut your finger tab, you don't have that white showing. So I'll probably ink that up with maybe some pink or something right there. So that's something to think about if you're picky about things like that. That's good. She liked having lunch at McDonald's. Hey, Peggy. Nice to see you. How is Peter today? Is he behaving himself? Peter got his COVID shot. Peter is Peggy's husband. And he got his COVID shot. And he was worried because he wasn't, since he wasn't having any side effects, he was worried that it wasn't working. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love them. Come on, line up. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. So we have flip. And thank you, Brenda, for, for uh, linking that. And flip. So we have one that goes that way and one that goes that way. So then this one, which is going to be a lot shorter. Do I want it to be that little? I really don't. Ooh. Hmm. No, nope, I'm gonna have to. Just gonna have to. And I think I have a piece of this left that will just probably fit that nicely. Yeah, what's for dinner, Peggy? What kind of orange box are you getting out of the freezer tonight? I shouldn't say that because you really do cook all the time. Grandma Eva had both doses and she is 92 and said she didn't have any symptoms from either one that is excellent dinner is under debate okay yeah angie don't start a fire <laughs> like you did yesterday please that actually happened here downstairs <laughs> it was not a good thing at all it's bad 
She lost everything. We stood out front and watched her Christmas tree melt. Okay, so this one is going to flip. Okay, the tab's going on this side. Okay, so we probably should trim that. Okay, it's just a smidge cut off. I am making a um, a tag that has three flips in it. Let's see here. I this is my first time ever making one. I watched a tutorial today. I've already made one mistake, but it was fixable, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, and I have to cut my little my hinge. Thank you for giving me that word, Brenda. It's kind of floundering there. Couldn't think of the word hinge. So what I've done so far is I've put these pockets in, and one goes that way, and one goes this way. And now I'm putting the top one on, and the top one is going to flip that way. So my hinge is on this side. And my little finger tab is going to be on this side. Oop. So I have to glue Is that the right side. Yes, okay. And glue. Go. Triple tag. Okay. Scrapbook with me. Her name is Melina. Okay. A lot of mathing. No, I, I haven't measured the darn thing. I don't measure. I really don't. I'm, I don't like to. I don't like to measure. So fold this back. I'm an eyeballer. I eyeball it. I guess you could measure because my top, my top pocket is going to be um, probably about a third of the size of the, uh, the other ones, but I think it'll be okay. It's my first one, so. It's not going to be perfect. When Erin talks to herself, she is thinking hard. That's right. That's right. Okay. So I made this one a little bit. It's not perfect because, you know, I didn't measure it, right? Put that there. Okay. So there we have it. Kind of reminds me of a dresser. You have your one that flips this way, that way, and this way. And she also put, you know, you could put pockets in here. She put some, um, she put like a little vellum pocket on the back of one of these. You know, you can do as many pockets as you want. She actually decorated the front. Um, she decorated the inside. And the next thing... <laughs> or smoke is um, some tags. So I'll put one in there. And it doesn't, I think when she did it, she had, Brenda, correct me if I'm wrong, did she have the tags hanging up above? I think she did. Because you can still. You know, just if you put this one first, then. Oh, good, Sandra. I'm glad. Let's make a tag. I'm going to trim that a little bit. It's just square. I don't want just a square. Turn that into a rectangle. Yes. Okay. Thank you. 
And this isn't going to be anything fancy. Just going to cut this over here because I cannot eyeball it and make it match. Some people can. I am not one of those people. In there, and then I have my carpet oil right here to poke a not huge hole. Okay, and let's see. I have my pistachio, I guess we'll just use it since I'm all ready with that. We'll just ink up around the edges. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should. I don't have it right here. I was going to round my corners because when you round your corners, your tags go in and out of your pockets way easier than if you don't. And that goes for just about any kind of square or rectangle. If you put going to be pulling it in and out, then round the corners. All right. So there's a pocket for that. Should I mix and match? Doesn't really matter, probably, huh? Put that in there. No, because then you can't see it. All right. Put that there. And what should I do for maybe a piece of lace? What's up, Bubba? Otis just came back. I think he thought there might have been fooding going on and he was not right, so he just came back. <clears throat> I think this might be too fat for that little circle. Mm. Let me put it on the other one. Make that a little bit bigger. Oh, I kind of ruined it. Ah, poop. <laughs> yes, please. Save Peggy from having to cook for Peter. Put a put a chop on for Peter. Uh, uh. How many people here when they got married had those um the matches in the little box with your name on it as the little gift for people to take? Hey little gypsy. Welcome. How are you doing? I was looking for matches to light a candle the other day and I found ours. <laughs> and welcome little gypsy. I think this is the first time you've come to my channel. It's nice to see you. So you guys get the gist. You just put the tags in and there's the flip. And then uh, let's see. Put some little embellishments on the front. How about some of this lace? I like this lace. This lace goes with everything. This one right here. Pretty much. It's off white. It's crocheted. It's cotton. Use a little iron. Mm. This needs to be trimmed. Save those lace scraps for the snipper roll. Now nah, they're too small. They already went in the garbage. <laughs> next ones I will. Okay, Brenda, I will save the next ones. Here's my glue. I promise. I promise. I know I'm too. I'm like Keisha, I throw too much stuff in the garbage. Put that there, it's a little too short. Stretch it. And I have got home early, so you're able to watch. Excellent, glad to hear it. Glad to have you. That means Holy smokes, that little container, that little thing holds a lot. I did not expect all of that to come out. 
Well, that's pretty. I like that little bling on there. Let's see. Like a flower. A couple more. That one. There's another one. And five. Okay, let me put these back. My hands are shaky. I had coffee today. You guys see that? Yeah, you can. Okay. Good at the five petal thing. It's kind of the lace is giving me a little bit of a hard time because the points are like sticking in it. After you think this, it's kind of giving me a hard time. <laughs> it's not dirty all the way I want. All right, and what should I use for the center? How about a button? How about a blue button? to go with the blue oh, paper. Oops. Jeez Louise. I just want to make sure I have it up far enough so that I can uh, maybe I should use my glue gun. Mm, I have my little finger thing so I don't burn my fingers. Well that's one of the things I bought at the dollar store. Some of these. I unplugged my glue gun to use my heat gun. Now I'll have to re-plug in my glue gun. I unplug my heat gun. All right. I have a power strip right here with everything in it. Let's see. Ooh, I think that's the one. Put that back in. Turn this on. There's my little stand. Well, that works about as well as nothing. I used it with a book the other day. Let's see. I don't even need it. It's just ridiculous. Okay, there's that. Okay. Pull cool. these out. So I don't burn my fingers. And I'm loving feeling so organized because I ordered a bunch of when Hobby Lobby was having its um, like 70% off organizational things clearance. I ordered a ton of these with the snap locks. Loving it. Loving it. It is on the route. Wow. He was in his car, Angie? Wow, well, it must be if they rescued him from the jaws of life. Whew. Thank goodness. Here. Hey, Barbara. Hubby just asked what I'm making for dinner. I told him Angie is making pork chops. He shot me this thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> You gotta love it. <laughs> Should see the car. I hope he's not damaged. Hope he's okay. He's probably driving a really expensive car. So hopefully it's one of the ones with the like the steel roll cages inside it or whatever. Hmm. How are you, Barbara? I apologize for the sniffing. I think there might be dust in here or something that makes my nose run. Because, you know, I don't dust in here. Just waiting for my glue gun to heat up. I could make another tag. Put these aside for now. I think Peggy would like to cook if she didn't absolutely have to sometimes that takes the joy out of things when there's like expectations 
attached to them. Good. Glad to hear it, Barbara. Oh, did you guys see what I made the other day? I don't know if you were all here or not. When I was on with Amy, I made these paper clipless paper clips. They go on like that. Oh, see, that's the... Oh, no, that's the one I made with the... Oh, my grommet one came apart. Shoot. Is this one going to do the same? See, probably I glued the... Oh, it's all falling apart. What kind of glue is that? Not very good glue. Man. What's up with that? Hmm. Anyway, this is what they do when they don't fall. There we go. That one didn't fall apart. My button came off. Hmm. Anyway, I have to re glue that on. Son of a bun. Okay, are you hot? No. Nope. Make another tag while we wait. See. Ooh, look at that pretty paper. That's from the same lady, the same sweet lady. Send me the other one, the other paper. The car flipped over. What glue did I use? It's, uh... oh, you know what? I think this is Elmer's. I filled this with Elmer's. Huh. Darn it. I guess Elmer's doesn't work on plastic buttons. No, I've got painty. Hangs in a very few things. <laughs> I'm just going to rip this. I don't mind the look of a ripped edge. Mm, I don't really want that, want that one to show. Put that down in there. And I'm going to trim the edges. So, Angie, you're all done making yo-yos now. What are you going to do with yourself? Besides give your poor little fingers a break. You get your jelly plate out. Anybody crafting today? I know little Gypsy just got home. There's a couple people at work listening. Brenda's probably cooking dinner. Peggy is cooking dinner. Renee did painty papers. What not to use. Anybody crafting? Andy's watching TV. <laughs> I don't know. I may work on some die cuts. Oh, that's always good. Are you making a journal right now, Angie? Are you working on a journal? or? Oh, you don't know what you're going to cook yet, Brenda. You don't know what to make. Hmm. For those of you that don't know, Brenda cooks for seven people? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven including herself. Tina's coloring. Tina made some cute tags today. Or wait, that was, was that last night? When did you make... Oh, I can't keep track of time. When did you make those bingo cards? Was that last night? He's in surgery with leg injuries. Uh-oh. On an MDC. I don't know what that is. Lori's crafting. Yay. It's... I'll stitches my fires. Oh, boy. Okay, Dar. Okay. Nutty is tea dyeing paper. Very nice. Always a good thing to have. 
of tea dyed paper. Mm, I wish I wouldn't, wouldn't have made those so steep. It looks weird. Last night. Okay. Deidre is working on her daily creative journal and rainbow glue book. Oh, those rainbow glue books are so cute. He's old school. Yep, he is. I agree. I agree, Elisa. Yep. All right, Kat. I'm so glad to hear that. Draw, help, tell your husband to drive safely. He always does, though. He doesn't need to be told that. Okay, I think this, this, this is warm or hot. Where did I put my doohickeys? Oh, there they are. Telling you guys. Hey guys, you know what I've been wanting to ask? Am I loud? Because my camera is right here in front of my mouth. <laughs> Am I loud? Do I need to like speak more quietly? For real? Like, do I need to do that? Sorry, that sure the new but thought. Yes, no, it's yeah. That's interesting. I like hearing about stuff like that. I just don't want to hear if you know when people die and stuff like that. But no, that was interesting, Angie. That was all right. I'm just reattaching this button that came off of this one. And then is this the one that fell apart? Yeah. So let's put a little glue 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 on there. Come on. I know there's still stick in there. Put this back in here. And hopefully get in there before you dry. I think I need glasses, you guys. Get in there. It's lined up. There, now that button came off. Of course, I should have known it was going to, right? Fix this button. Susie is. Oh, I'm not loud at all. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Not too loud. All right. Fussy cutting for a spring journal and going to make borscht. I have never had borscht. Brenda found eight old buttons that scream. Aaron put me on a snippet roll. <laughs> uh, I do like making them. You know, I have really small fingers and these are tight on me. So if you have bigger fingers, unless you plan on using your pinky, I don't know. These are like not very big. Ooh. So let's put, I'm going to put this one down here first, and then I'll build everything else around that one. Sound like I know what I'm doing, right? Uh -huh. Tricks on you. Okay. Put that on there. And then I want to put the button in the middle. Sixty-six. That's excellent. That's excellent. No. Hi, Kathy. No, I'm making a, f um, putting a flower on the corner. I'm making it out of these teardrop gems. I'll show you the, this in a second after I get this put together. I'm not good at doing the fives. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around. I don't need this right now. And hope it turns out. Cross your fingers. It already looks bad. It already does not look like I thought it would look. It already looks not right. Hey, Elaine. How are you? Welcome to... Aaron's going to try it for the first time. Oh, this one sticks off the edge. That'll be okay, though. Oh, boy. I don't know, you guys. 
I don't know. Here's the last one. Let's see. <laughs> Not terrible. Not too bad. I think I spaced them out okay. I am actually really, really surprised at that. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. I am really shocked that that turned out as well as it did. I thought it was going to be like all lopsided and weird. I really did. Now for this one, I am going to... Oh, I told Kathy I would show her. Thanks, Deidre, how this works. So this is like a triple flip out. And that goes like this is the bottom one. And then this goes this way. And then that goes that way. And you can put pockets on the inside. You could put colored paper on the inside, which is, I think, the lady. Excuse me. That um, I think she did. And now I'm just, I decorated the front a tiny bit. How do you use... The manila half folders we got from you. Well, Johnny used hers to, she decorated hers and she put them in a journal as like an extra ephemera pocket thing. Um, Brenda is using, and Darla are using theirs to organize their clear stamp sets. They're using them like this you know, with the tabs, and then they're putting their clear stamps in there and stamping the image of the clear stamp on the front and then writing the name on the little tab, like a filing system. Um, just any way that you would use a manila folder. If anyone has any ideas how they would use a mini file folder, let Elaine know. She has some and she's wondering how to use them. I have a pin in my mouth. That's why I'm not talking. Oop, get in there. there we go. And this is very thick, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some. And anybody have any ideas? Anybody here get any of those? I know Peggy has quite a few. She might be gone, though. What did you do with yours, Peggy? Anything yet? Hey, Colleen. How you doing? I was lurking at your live today. <laughs> like I usually am. <laughs> uh, you and Kathy. Looking at all the cool um, die cut books you had. Oh, Peggy, uh, you have quite a few of those mini file folders. What do you use yours for, if, if anything yet? Have you used yours yet? Carla, did you get some of those mini file folders? Have you used yours yet? It's hard to say. Have you used yours yet? Hello, Artsology. How you doing today? And then on the top one, I think I think I'm just gonna put this on there. I guess that looks stupid. No, that doesn't make sense because then it pins it down and you can't open it. We don't want that. Let's make a little tag for the top. And let's make it out of about, does this go, just coordinate, let's see, you're going to take the dog out, okay, yes, I have some and haven't used them yet, Kathy made an envelope so far out of yours, okay, you're welcome, Colleen, I do like to watch you guys, you guys are fun. <laughs> Okay, that blue is not an exact match. Does it have to be an exact match? It's kind of off. I don't know. Let's see. It's on the back of that. But this one looks kind of cool. Yeah, I can live with that. 
Alrighty. So let's cut. I'm just going to fold it. Oh, let me turn this off. Turn off the glue gun. Don't need that on. And this is a little bit more of cardstock feeling. So that's good to make a tag out of. I'm just going to fold this in half. And I'm going to put that on there like that. And then stick that. Is that going to stay together? It's starting to come apart again. Fart face. Need some longer brads. I think this is the one I just know. This is the one that has also. Hold on. There we go. All right. Stick that on there like that. And that's just a folded piece of paper. And put that in there. Oops. Like that. It's a little too big. It looks kind of stupid. Let me trim that down. Oops. <laughs> oh, I'm a genius, I tell you. A genius. The back circle kind of hangs down over it, but that's okay. Just a little piece of paper in there for journaling. I folded it in half and I put it on my paper clip and I'm just going to put it like that so that it sticks out the top. It looks cute and you can still, um, you can still flip it all open. So there, it still needs, it needs a piece of paper on the inside. Hmm. What color? How about, let's see, is this an old receipt? I'm going to decoupage. Let's see, how big is this? Is this the right size? Oh my God, look at that. It's like it was meant to be. <laughs> I made that the exact size of that florist shop receipt from 1953. Holy smokes. Wow. That is really, that's, that's a wow. Okay, I need a glue stick. You're all right, Orso. I'm not going to drop anything on your head. Stay right there. Let's see, Otis knows. Watch out for craft lanches. Artie Dar's leaving. Kathy's working on staying awake. Brenda, 200. 200. What? Oh, those pocket things. That is amazing. Isn't that amazing that that fits on there? That I, I really am just flabbergasted by that. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, it was meant to be. Put that on there. Destroying this glue stick. I smooshed it. Smooshed it. Get that right on there. Nice, if I can. My face is red from the heat of the oven. <laughs> no, I am not in it. <laughs> Thanks, little gypsy. So let's see how it goes. So you got to flip it from the bottom, top to the bottom when you're closing it. Here and then on the back, let's see what do I have for the back? I don't have another one of those. 
what else do I have over here? I have some just miscellaneous stuff over here. What's this? Horton's Greenhouses. Put that like that. Put that on there like that. Thanks, Susie. Got to get to my craft room. You've inspired me. Yay! I'm really glad to hear that. I didn't used to be this heavy-handed with the glue, but then when I started gluing fabric to paper, and I realized I needed to be pretty heavy-handed with the glue. <laughs> That's kind of how I glue now. Put that there. And how about put that there? Where's my little pencil? My little pencil. What Deb say? So jealous if you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't come up with this idea though. I got it from a different channel. Very nice. I, I'm very picky when it comes to uh, like listening to a tutorial. Lives, uh, I don't really get bothered, but if it's a tutorial, I kind of get a little picky. I really like this lady. She's very, she, she doesn't go on and on. She's succinct. She's clear. She has a pleasant voice. She's nice. I like her. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm not reading chat at the moment. I'm trying to get this glued correctly. What? Wait, I blinked and you caught it. I ripped it. I ripped it. I didn't cut it. I ripped it. I cheated. I put that there because it kind of matches up. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's put that there. This is the back, Kathy. This is the back. Okay. And I have one little, one little piece to go. Let's see. Use that little piece of glue or not? There. Oh, it didn't quite overlap. It didn't quite overlap. Okay. Cut that off. Oh, darn it. I, oh, poop. Maybe I can ink that later. Hide that. Shucks. I wasn't looking and I went and cut the wrong spot. Cut it too much. Oh well. It's okay. It'll be all right. It's not the end of the world. It's just paper. This goes in here. Okay. There we go. I really like how that fits in there. I think that looks cute. Tags. It's decorated on the front. It's decorated ish on the back. That's not like that. Here we go. Voila. Say si bon. See what time is it? 3.13. Been on almost two hours. 15 more minutes. And I'm going to be done. So I think I want to put a pocket. Oh, I don't know where my vellum is. 
Let's see what do I have over here. I have this. I don't know who made this. Somebody made this and sent this to me. I could turn that into a pocket. Let's see what else do I have over here. What's this? Card. That doesn't go. That's purple. Uh, butterfly. What color is this? Green? It's not the right color. Green. Yellow. No yellow. Um, I wonder if I could make a pocket out of one of these butterflies. Would that go? No, that doesn't really go, does it? How about one of these butterflies? That might be all right. Let's see. Okay, I'm going for my nap now. I have tons of work to do this afternoon and already worn out. He hit something and flipped his car. Okay. All right. All right, Kathy, you enjoy your nap. I know running around really, really takes it out of me too, so I know how you feel. All right, let's decide. Should I put butterflies in here? I don't know. I'm second guessing myself now. I changed my mind. I don't usually do that, but I am. Still amazes me that these were a dollar at the dollar store. That is amazing. I have more scraps over here. Let's see what else do I have over here. That'll work. I don't know if I want to cover that up or not, though. Now I sound like Johnny. I don't want to cover it up. <laughs> I don't want to cover it up. She never wants to cover anything up. She's funny. Oh, one butterfly tried to escape. your mind, Aaron. Do you want to make a pocket or not? tags I didn't ink the I think this glue is okay for paper to paper I just don't think it's good for it oh the back of that's pretty too um is that better which side you guys this side and I could ink it to make it stand out more or this side the ones with the letters or the flourishes. Hey, Johnny, I was just talking about you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Johnny. We were just talking last night about how you weren't going to abuse your printer anymore. So letters or flourishes? What do you think? 
I was just whining about how I didn't want to cover up this receipt. And I said, I sound just like Johnny. Johnny. She never, <laughs> she never wants to uh, cover up. I don't want to cover that up. Okay, Angie says the white side. Anyone else have an opinion? Right. No, don't cover it. <laughs> Elaine says white. Okay. Angie says white. We got two whites. And like I said, I can ink it green to go with the tags. You were close, Sandra. At least you didn't put a Y on there. No, oh, Otis woke up from his nap. He's in there terrorizing Chris. And a whiny baby. Whiny baby. Okay. Put that right there. Right there. Wait. <laughs> Otis. Johnny says hello. Chris is going to let him out. <laughs> he woke up from his nap and had to pee. So he gets to go outside. All right, guys. There's one pocket. All right, Angie. He's not in here, though. He's out in the living room. I don't want to put more than one pocket, though, because I'm thinking you could put taller tags in here if you wanted to. I have to, I'm trying hard to stay in camera i have a little hard time though i don't know i don't really want to put a pocket there i don't want to put any money ephemera on here because then it would be a little too bulky what time is it i could put i don't really i think it's good i don't think i want to add any more to it Thanks, Elaine. I think it's good like it is. I don't think I'm going to add any more. Flips this way, and then that way, and then that way. So you could put a could put a little journal in here, like just a little booklet in there. That'd be cute. Have you seen Dollar Tree faux leather on spool ribbon? I have not. Thanks, little gypsy. So there, there's my little project project for today. Nothing too terribly complicated, pretty easy to do. So if you all want to give it a try. Thanks, Sandra. Now you know how. And if you do. I don't have a group or anything, and I don't want one. Um, if you're in Johnny's group or Amy's group or Laura's group, am I missing anyone? Or Brooke's group. Or Rosemary's group. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Any other group I missed? Um, thanks, Amy. Thanks, Kat. You could post a picture in there and we could see what you did with yours if you made one. And give credit to Brenda linked it quite a ways up. Uh, let me see. There it is. And you could give credit to this lady. Nope, that's not what I want. 
Um, give credit to this lady right here. Come on, stuck on my iPad. There we go. There we go. Black dog squashing me didn't mean she had to go out. Oh, she just wanted to squish you. <laughs> so this is the video that I saw where um this particular thing was made. And like I said, I like her. I, I like her tutorials. I like her way. She has a nice way about her. So yeah. Give it a go. And you can make a you can put a comment in her um under her video and tell her you tried it. Because I'm going to. So yeah, give it a try. It was awesome hanging out with all of you. I hope I inspired some of you to get out your glue and your paper and give it a go. Give it a try. And uh, oh, he's 70 pounds. Oh, <laughs> jeez, Melissa. Yeah. Give it a try. And it was nice hanging out with you. The half by, oh, oh, very good, Elaine. I would love to see that. Thanks, Peggy. I'm sure Peggy Peggy loves pockets, so this is right up your out uh, alley, Peggy. But yes, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me, and giving me um, the chance to try something I've never tried before, and sticking it out with me. I appreciate it. So everyone have a great day, and I'm sure I will be coming on again, and we will have more fun together. So I'll see you all around, and let me find the button here. And thanks again. Love you all. Bye-bye. Oh, before I end the pro, does anyone have any, anyone have any announcements? Anyone have any announcements before I go? Anyone have any announcements? I always forget to do that. I'm so sorry. And then I think of it afterwards and I think, ooh, that's not nice. You should give people a chance to. We're good. No one has any announcements. All right. Well, if you do, just type them in chat. And uh, thanks again. Bye, everyone.